what's up i decided to make a quick like beginners of getting started guy for the hd2 because you know if you get it out the box it looks nice but they don't really tell you how to get other apps or you know little tips and tricks to get your phone running how you want it to get uh, to run it so i'm gonna make i made this video i'm controlling my phone through my laptop i just use uh you see this app called wi-fi remote access i think it's free somewhere on xda but I just use this to sync. I don't really like plugging my phone to the computer every time to transfer like one or two files. So check the app out. All right, first, oh well, first and foremost, T-Mobile just came out with the upgrade, so probably should get that ASAP. Here's the website right here: tmobile.com/slash/wmupgrade. And basically the upgrade fixes uh everything people didn't like if it whether it was from the freezing or minor little bugs in it but the upgrade fixes all that no more freezing no more anything the phone runs much smoother so you probably should get that first and foremost before you start downloading stuff again the update does erase the stuff on your phone but just use the Microsoft my backup app to you know back up like the contacts and stuff you might have to reinstall your apps again like the apps you downloaded from the market I'm not sure but I'm pretty pretty certain it erases everything I didn't update my phone yet cuz mine runs pretty damn perfect so I'ma just leave it as is for now But yeah, hold on. If you don't have the Microsoft My Phone app or whatever it's called to back up all your settings, just go to the Windows Marketplace. It's kind of hard to control this with the mouse, but I'll get through it. Yeah, just go to the marketplace, download um you know the app. It should be right here. Get this app to back up everything before you do the update. So yeah, just take care of that first and foremost before you even start doing anything else to it because it's gonna erase everything. T Mobile.com slash WM upgrade. Visit the site right up here. It's at the top of the uh Top of the page. I don't know what just happened. All right, next. After you upgrade the phone, you want a better marketplace. Definitely get the OPM market that has a bunch of apps. I think they're all free, but. You can check it out. Go to freewarepocketpc.net. I think you can go from your phone browser. I'm not sure. Click up here to sign up. Make a new account. Take like two minutes. Click sign up. Then after that, it should be a link. The other link is right at the top. Click download old market. You can do this all from the phone. I just recommend that you download the old market I mean you sign in before you download the app because I know for some people they say they can't register on the app so register on the website first download the old market it has about I think damn near six seven thousand more apps that all seem to be free and it's much better than a Windows marketplace so you could download it, just go from your phone, click mobile, or something on the if you go from the phone that'll let you download, you know, straight to your device. It gives you updates, it got a bunch of cool apps on there. I mean, it'll make your phone that much better because the Windows marketplace sucks. That's step number two when you get your HD2. Freewarepocketpc.net. 
click sign up download OPN market that's the name of it or O market that should be the second thing you do as soon as you get your HD tool right there the link is at the top go right from your HD tool everything is there for you alright next settings on the phone that you probably should change oh well let me just show you some intro apps you probably should get you definitely should get the Bing app it's pretty cool they just updated it, it got navigation on it that like turn by turn navigation and it works I tested it out for a few spots it, it works it follows you exactly where you're going lets you know what's in the area you know like pizza food restaurants any of that you know if you had an iPhone Android it's like apps where it's like Yelp apps like that that it's like an all-in-one that shows you everything but they added the voice navigation to this one to get you to the place so you really can't beat that this one is uh on the top of the list for me so from the regular marketplace definitely download Bing the Microsoft my phone app if you don't have it then they have a free app called reset I don't think they have a reset function on a phone at first. I think it's either you turn the phone off or you pull the battery. But this app right here is free. You just click on it, lets you reset the phone. Bam, no problems. Other than that, let's see what else I downloaded from here. Oh, one second. I guess I was inactive too long. Got to <laughs> activate the phone again or unlock it. Yeah, but while I'm taking care of that, those are definitely the first things you should take care of. And next, everybody always asks, you know, where you get those apps from and how do you find out all the information? Bookmark this website forever if you own an HD2. It's at the top of the page. It's the XDA developer link. It shows you, it's just like a bunch of developers. They make custom ROMs, custom apps, custom everything for the, you know, the phone that helps you do everything on it. Everybody leaves a bunch of comments, a bunch of tips, tricks. I normally just go in and click on uh, the themes and apps just to see what you know they made that's new. But bookmark this page. On XDA developers, they call you know the phone is called HCC Leo, another country. So look for that. Where they hyphenated HCC Leo HD2. And you see they got a bunch of tweaks, mods, icon, new icons, new taskbar, just a bunch of free things you can just download and, and hook your phone up with. Swipe, overclock the, uh, the device, metal detector, I mean they just got a bunch of stuff they make you know, on their own for you to use. And there's plenty of content, 208 pages of comments, apps, and a bunch